Daraga is the gateway to the international. Daraga is the gateway to the international. Allow me to send this message to all of you. The gateway to the international is Daraga Albay. And we, as the Daragueños, should empower ourselves, should um, re re upheave ourselves, because the international gateway has been in the essence of the Ragalbay. From the Bicol International Airport, it has the opposite threads of the economy, of the, up, of the growth of the economy in our own way. And I think one of the best thing that ever happened to the Ragalbay is the assumption of this airport to become the gateway of uh, not just the Philippines, but um, the, to the gateway of the world. Thank you. And your picture is... Poverty. <clears throat> ang kahirapan ay nasa kaisipan. Kung gagawin mo to ng paraan, malalagpasan mo ang problema, malalagpasan mo ang kahirapan. This picture represent that poverty in our country is the most... Um, is the most... Um, pinaka... pinaka-issue natin dito sa lugar natin kung saan ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng problema. Pero based on my um, based on my observation on Dragueño, kahit anong klase yung problema ang humarap at harapin natin mananatili tayong babangon at dalaban. No matter how hard your life is, as long as you are going through this this kind of situation manalagpasan mo to. Yun lamang po at maraming sila. Thank you so much, candidate number 9. Let's now have Candidate number 16. If there is one word that would depict this image would be stigma. Another related, related word for it is discrimination. I have, I have a lot of friends who are members of the third gender. And I must say, I'm very grateful because they have been one of the huge, they have had huge contribution in the man that I am today, which I am proud of. And I respect them. And I have heard a lot of stories about people who caught HIV. And one of the best things for us, one of the best things that we can do to remove the stigma and discrimination, simply respect. That's one of the basic values our parents have taught us. That's why I'm very grateful for my mom who taught me the value of respect because I do not only bring the respect in only one spectrum, giving respect to LGBT, but all gender. So let me give you guys encouragement, okay? Respect begets respect, as simple as that. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number 16. Now let me call on the center of the stage, candidate number 19. And your picture is... So our um, the, pic the picture that flashes on the screen is our president, Bongbong Marcos. So through his project, um, I will support him on, um, on economic development, especially on <clears throat> modernization of our economy. Um, for example, like tourism, especially in Daraga, agriculture, um, infrastructure, infrastructures, and um, healthcare and educational system and other aspects that um, can help the Daragueño and all the Filipino as a whole. And <clears throat> as your Gino ng Arangkada Kagsawa 2023, I will <clears throat> support the tourism sectors and tourism, uh, tourism industry in Albay. And I will talk to, if I given a chance to talk to Mr. Bongbong Marcos, and I will ask him what I can do and what I can offer to um, to promote the Daraga. And I know that my 
um, time and involvement in the Raga Albay is one of my biggest investment here because no one can help, I no one can win himself alone, but we win as one Albay, one province, one country, and one nation. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number 19. Let us now have candidate number 20. And here is your picture. Uh, ayun po sa makikita na nating litrato, uh, halata naman na ito ay nasa lanta. Uh, ako po'y bilib bilang isang nagenyo sa mga taga-kagsawa kasi po alam naman natin na yung naga ay yung nauna pang uh, mas umusbong sa kanila pero ito sila. Uh, kahit ano man yung naharap nilang pagsubok, ikaya eh, nilang makipagsabayan at proud na proud ako doon bi bilang isang bikulano kasi yung kagsawa ay parte din ng aking puso bilang nagenyo, kagaya ng aking mga katunggali ngayon na alam kong proud na proud sa pagiging bikulano kasi alam ko tayo yung matatapang, magagaling, malalakas at alam kong isa kayo doon lahat sa nakakasaksi ng aking sinasabi. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, candidate number 20. Now, proceeding to our next candidate, we have candidate number 11. Candidate number 11, here is your picture. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, especially to the Board of Judges. Based on the picture, we can see the face of poverty. What do we mean by the face of poverty? Right now, in status quo, we are experiencing hunger. Um, we, are, we are also experiencing the lack of access to clean water. And as we can see on the picture, it's also a sign of malnutrition. So, I think that one of the purpose of pageant, especially this Ginoong Kagsawa, is also to be a voice or to show awareness to the people and to utilize social media, especially that it's a powerful tool right now, so that um, we can join campaigns or maybe advocacies in order for us to maybe help in solving or alleviating poverty here in the Philippines. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number 11. Now let us have candidate number 15. And number 15, here is your picture. May we please remind our audience to please refrain from making unnecessary noises for our candidates to be more focused in analyzing the pictures. Thank you. So this picture tell us that that even when we face difficulties in life the nag, nagpapakita sa atin na kahit na dumapama tayo nadapa tayo May liwanag na naghihintay sa atin. Nagpapalakas ng loob. So, that's why I'm here. As an, as an individual, I am proud and thankful that I am I have reached this point being able to join this Gino Kagsawa 2023. And that is this picture tells for me that 
everything is possible for a person who has a dreams in life. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, candidate number 15. Now proceeding to our next candidate, we have candidate number two. Candidate number two, here is your picture. So, as you can see, nakikita po natin ngayon ay isang teacher. At and also, it represents the importance of education. As we all know, alam nating lahat na ang future ng kumbaga yung kinasinasabi lagi natin, na, lagi natin naririnig, kabataan ang ating pag-asa. Right? And of course, paano kung ang lahat ng kabataan na puro tambay? And of course, hindi natin masisisi ang kahirapan. Hindi natin masisisi kung sino man ang addict na nag-influence dyan. No. But rather, we should thank all of the teachers, especially all the teachers right here na nagbigay ng rason upang maging maganda ang kinabukasan nating lahat. Bakit? Because every student, every child who has a knowledge, proper knowledge, will lead us to a bright future. So once again, for all teachers for tonight, maraming maraming salamat po. Kayo ang aming rason kung bakit kami magiging malago in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number two. Last two candidates, let us call forward candidate number eight. Ang nasa larawan po ay nagpapakita ng nangyaring pandemic sa ating uh, bansa. Ang pandemic na nakaka-apekto sa pamumuhay ng tao, ito yung uh, nagpigil ng ikot ng mundo. Kumbaga, ang pandemic, nung nangyari ito, maraming nagbago. Maraming nagbago na kung saan tayo ay nag-adjust tayo ay nagdusa, tayo ay pirit pa rin mabangon sapagkat anumang pagsubok ang dumating, parang kagsawa lang ito. Kahit natabu naman ito ng pagputok ng mayon, andito tayo, Asbicolano, Uragon, Matindog, Matindog, Malaban, para sa Banwa. Yun, yun lamang po. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number eight. Now calling on the center of the stage, our last semi-finalist, candidate number 23. So candidate 23, here is your picture. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As we can see in the picture, it is the Kagsawa Ruins. Uh, the Kagsawa Ruins was first built in the 1500s it was first destroyed by the Dutch because of uh, yung pananakop. Yun yung unang sumira sa, sa Kagsawa Church. Tapos, ni-rebuild yun sa panahon na ng Spaniards. Then, on 1800s, it was then again destroyed by the, by the strong earthquake that was recorded that happened as the heavenly the heavenly earthquake that occurred here in Kagsawa. As Bicolanos, as what my fellow contestants said earlier, that we, I myself, am thankful for these events that this happened. Because if these events did not happen, we cannot be stronger, we cannot be more resilient, we cannot know how to grow, we cannot know how to live, how to survive even these these calamities occur in our area. So, one last message for each and every one of us that we should still be strong, we should be still resilient, and we should grow and live even if what we face in our daily lives. Thank you.